Good afternoon, Jill Denny and various Madam Presidents and Lady Secretaries, I don't know, I'm wandering in here, and members of the East Suffolk Federation of Women's Institutes. I'm killing two birds with one stone today. I thought I'd do a bit of an advert and uh, I've also got to do my own remote, socially distanced tenancy inspection because Mel can't come over and, and do, well, it's care in the community. So I've got to, um, these, these, by the way, let me just start, Madam President and ladies and secretaries and Jill Denny and Mel now and Helen will watch. These are the famous tights, as mentioned in my tutu went AWOL. The, they're uh, white in real life uh, because pink ones are very expensive and I am drag on a shoestring going out to entertain troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. And so when I was out there, I used to dye these tights in naffy tea. And I got severely torn off a strip by the Royal Marines Commando Stax, who is baby of face, six feet two, blue of eye, rocky of outcrop, for putting these tights out of the bucket of tea. And also I taught them, don't squeeze them so hard because you don't want them to look tie-dyed. When you're playing the Swan Queen, you don't want to look messy, tie-dyed tights. And they used to really shout when I would put them to dry on the anti-blast wall in Basra. Don't, don't, don't do that. So um, these are the tights. So what I've got to show you are a couple of things. I'd like to show you first on my tenancy inspection. I'll tell you for why. Because one of the things about a Zoom show has been people like to look behind the performer. And on my CV now, along with my nice quotes from Miranda Hart, that I'm a portal for joy, thank you very much, and Joanna Lumley, that I am a true and unique diva with the voice of an angel. Thank you very much. My favourite quote is from random woman watching in Germany. She said, a most interesting background kitchenette. So you'll see that if you tune in for the talk on Zoom. So what I've got to show you is the nice clean microwave interior. Yes, I did that according to Aggie. How clean is your house, Aggie? You might remember. She's been house-sitting for my mate Lizzie. So I've been around there and I've learned a lot about lemon juice and garlic granules and cider vinegar. Because I knew with the tights, you know, when I went, and you'll hear about this in the show, don't tell anyone, that I did go and use up ammunition with the Royal Marine. Um, and he said that it's got something in it like bicarb which is volatile. And I said, you don't have to tell me about bicarb being volatile because I have to dye these, you know, these tights in the tea, as you know, uh, you take them off the anti-blast wall. And, 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 and I've got white sinks at home. So I've seen bicarb being volatile with everything, bleach and vin Oh, you have to run. If you put bleach with bicarb, you have to run, open your windows and run. The other thing I have to show you um, is, is, is um, oh, look at this, sorry, this, I like this. Look at this, all of this fruit and veg I've just bought from Carol over there on her stall. Uh, two pounds, all of that, all together. Two, and look what she does with the green beans. For storage, she sews them all into those nice little pouches. It's like people doing their, have you seen Brussels sprouts? Where for display purposes, they stick them on those Morris dancers sticks. I like in that. So the other thing I've got to show you, I like Carol. Oops, get out of the way. Oh, there's no one here. I'm the only person who can socially distance alone and it's not social distancing. And I have to show you the shower for my inspection. Look at that. Cleanliness is next to godliness. My grandmother used to say to you, keep the place tidy, she used to say, and comb your hair. You don't know who's going to visit. The insurance man, the Avon lady, Meals on Wheels, the vicar. She didn't want the vicar to come in. I'll tell you why the vicar wasn't allowed in my nan's. Because it was 50s and he was quite progressive. And she used to have these bleached in blue whitener, anti-macassars, you know, and he had brill cream. Oh, only once he went to visit. And, and also, talking about, I, I've done my shower trap. I can't, can't set off the fire alarms again for you to hear that I've done that. Jill Denny, Madam Presidents and the ladies, because my neighbour is on um, nights at Sizewell. So we can't do that again, no. I also, to do my singing practice for you, have you seen out of my bonny lad? I have to go down in the utility room. And they know how serious or how well it's going because sometimes there'll be a tea ring on the top of the dryer. And if it's coffee, they know it's serious. Hot chocolate, it's more serious. And she said to me, what's that yellow on there that you were wiping off? And I said, oh, it got really frantic with the Wagner. I'm taking after my Nancy Ack and I had to have a medicinal snowball cocktail to get through it. 
No, but talking of the shower trap, I was in the Laysen co-op before lockdown and I heard a woman say, well, his wife left him. And for the first time in 18 years, he took the trap out of his shower. He was taken aback. So look, I'm hoping to see you all. Um, and that's all I have to show you, I think, at the um, official opening of the inaugural Zoom for the, the, the WI My Tutu Went AWOL. I am so pleased that I've been asked to do that. Do you know that? I might wash my hair. I hope, noticed the barbers are open today. So please turn up. I'll, I'll keep doing these little tasters. I'll sing tomorrow because he's going to work next door. Um, I can't go in the utility room now because they're hoovering. And you know what? I can't hoover up here either. I've had to sweep the floor again because somebody keeps putting the flora on the top of the hoover bag. To make, so do you know my nan, Nancy Act, the one I told you about, she neglected my dad. She used to do a privy in the flora. That's what, because she wouldn't use the indoor loo in her house when it was added in the 50s. I lived in a bungalow, she said, except there was upstairs because she was always afraid that her neighbours could hear her two doors down on either side about her business. And they said to her, well, you know, Nancy, you could sing hymns. And she said, oh, no. It's not working for Mrs Jenkins. Everybody do know why she's singing Come Run There. And sometimes she has to include all the verses. Go, mm, yes. And so she would always go down to the outside loo. All her life she did that with the strips of the evening echo down between her bra and her tabard. She used to. But she'd always lie about why she was going out to the garden. She was either going to put the chickens to bed. She was going to do that. But my favourite ever was she said, the man from the council taught me, you know... And this is when you had to be a bit more about the environment now, see. The man from the council did say that if I go out on a moonlit night to the garden and I look back sudden at the house, the heat will be visible escaping in the moonlight and you know exactly where to put the lagging. So there's some wisdom. Come and zoom in and watch my tutu went AWOL on the 14th of July. See you tomorrow or the next day.